What's happening, people? It's Dan. I'm just leaving Bank of America. I got a lot of good information about opening up a business account. Um, but I've been also calling uh, the county, San Diego County, and learning about getting the uh, fictitious business name, also known as the DBA, you're doing business as. Um, and this is what I've learned. So I called the county recorder and um, she told me that I've got to go in, fill out this uh, application. Um, so you got you put your business name in there and then it costs $42 and it only takes 20 minutes and it can be registered right there and filed. So that's part one of it to get your DBA, your fictitious business name. Part two of it is that you have to have it ran in the newspaper, um, a legal publishing, and it has to be run for four consecutive weeks. Um, I did some research on that, and it cost 20 bucks. So we're looking at, um, what is it, 64, 62? What did I say for the, for the, um, I think it's total $64. I forgot what. I started out as 62 40, uh, 42 okay so it's gonna be 62 bucks for that great so now I know that and I got to get that done because it's illegal to be running around here doing business with an unregistered name <laughs> good fight services LLC that's what it's gonna be so I got to get that registered now so that's great um, next you got I got to do an LLC formation and in California it's a little bit it's expensive when it comes time for taxes now to do it you have to do the LLC formation paperwork um, the filing it's 70 bucks and then also you got to do a another document called um, the authorization or what's it called articles of uh, organization and that pretty much just says who is who is who who owns what percentage and who is what so that is another thing that needs to be filled out and um, submitted I think that one cost twenty dollars so there's a lot of a lot of things that need to get filed and things you have to do um, and those things are required to get a business bank account um, and also I want to get an EIN number so, uh, and that's like a business social security and in, with, with, the, with the IRS um, the reason I want to do all this stuff and be legit and have a bank account is so that um, I'm putting money in there it's it's the business is running correctly legally and I want to be able to get business credit currently I'm working on my own personal credit but in the future I want to have um, the opportunity to have business credit now when you have um, a, a business bank account open the banks are eventually going to see money coming through it and then possibly offer you a line of credit so that's that's the, that's that's my what I'm thinking so that's the plan so um, trying not to be a mom-and-pop trying to be a legit business now okay so with all that being said I was just at the bank to taking care of some personal stuff because I lost my ATM card at the dump and, <laughs> and um, so I, I was asking okay what do I need for a business uh, bank account and he's like you need to have your stuff registered um, your LLC has to be registered with the state secretary of the state so he's like once you've got that done and it's in the system we can just pull it up and it's real simple we can just pull you up and open you a, a business bank account and I was like cool so he's like you got to have that done first and I, I don't know if he said that my EIN was required but either way I'm gonna have it um, so there's that then I asked about the clove is it called the clove the clover or the clove um, whatever it is it's one of those cube one of those little devices where you can swipe ATM cards or you can accept credit and debit cards like and stuff like that and that is available it's offered it cost 39 bucks for the device itself do you need to go in here 
No. Oh, there goes Harbor Freight, our favorite store. It's on. Oh, there's a deal going on right now. But anyways, so I need to have 39 bucks for the device, and then it costs 10 bucks a month, right? Yes. Something like that. And now. The, but if you get the device, you don't need to pay the fees. Okay, but if I get the device, my business account fee gets waived. So that's a good thing. So um, the fee for a business bank account is, I believe, twelve dollars a month. Unless you spend two fifty. Unless the business uh, spends two fifty. So um, that's the stuff I learned so far, and it's just step by step, inch by inch, inch by inch. What a cinch! <laughs> I think I heard Tony Robbins say that. Or Les Brown one of those guys but what's cool is if you've got the the credit card and, and the, the ability to use cards and credit um, the guy at the bank psych he says if you have that option for your customers to pay your business automatically grows up to like 30% they say because um, if you know if you don't have that option people can't pay right not everybody has cash you know some people just use card um, so I want that to be available to my customers but uh, anyways I think that's that's it right now just wanted to give you guys that information there's a lot of moving parts a lot of things to learn and it's all available online so take the time to learn what you don't know and apply it yep I think that's it so we'll see you next time hopefully this information was helpful um, disclaimer I'm not a lawyer uh, do your research before you do stuff See you later.